Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Audrey Tai. Welcome back to my channel, Eye Channel by Eye Surgeon. I'm a board certified and fellowship trained refractive and cataract surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. I'm here to bring you the latest information on eye health and medicine. I also have a master's degree in nutrition. So today's topic is very dear to me. In today's video, you'll learn why you should take omega-3 fish oil supplements for dry eyes, how to pick the best omega-3 oil for you, and also my top three recommended omega-3 oil supplements for treating dry eyes. I've listed in the description below links to my top three recommended omega-3 oil supplements so you can check them out. This is not a sponsored video. The products I recommend in this video are based on my own clinical experience treating dry eye disease, as well as my personal experience using those products. If you watch until the end of this video, I'll review my top recommended omega-3 oil supplements for vegetarians and vegans. So why should you take omega-3 fish oil supplements if you have dry eyes? The tears on the surface of our eyes have three different layers the lipid layer, the aqueous layer, and the mucin layer. The lipid layer of the tear film is the outermost layer, and its function is to prevent the liquid portion of the tears from evaporating too fast. It contains mainly mabin oil, which is produced by the oil glands in our eyelids, called mabomian glands. Therefore, if the mabomian glands are not working properly due to inflammation or clogging, or if the mabin oil is too thick or have abnormal composition, the lipid layer of the tear film may either contain too little oil or poor quality of oil, and it will not function properly. This results in our eyes getting dry due to rapid evaporation of the tears. This condition is called mabomian gland dysfunction and is one of the most common causes for dry eye disease. Numerous studies have shown that omega-3 oil supplements can decrease inflammation of the mabomian glands, improving mabin oil flow into the tear film as well as improving the quality of maven oil. This is why omega-3 oil supplements are commonly recommended by eye doctors for treating dry eye disease. When you go to a pharmacy or even a grocery store, the amount of choices for omega-3 fish oil supplements available over the counter can be overwhelming. So how do you pick the best omega-3 fish oil supplement for you? Omega-3 oil supplements, just like other dietary supplements, are not regulated by the FDA. So the quality and composition can vary greatly among different products. Let's talk about some key things to look for in a good quality omega-3 fish oil supplement. Most of the key information you're looking for to differentiate different types of omega-3 fish oil supplements is listed on the supplement facts label which are typically located at the back of the package. The first thing you should look at is the type of fatty acids contained in the supplements. You're looking for the amount of omega-3 fatty acids, and specifically the amount of EPA and DHA containing the products. Omega-3 fatty acids are a group of polyunsaturated fatty acids. There are three primary omega-3 fatty acids in our diet, ALA, EPA, and DHA. Among these three types of omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA have significantly more anti-inflammatory properties than ALA. While ALA can be converted into EPA and DHA in your body, only about 5 to 10% of dietary ALA is converted into EPA and DHA. You want to pay attention to the amount of EPA and DHA contained in each serving of the product. Studies have shown that daily supplementation of 2,000 mg of combined EPA and DHA is effective in treating dry eye disease. However, the amount of omega-3 fatty acids needed to treat dry eye disease cannot simply be obtained by just eating fish due to the amount of toxins containing fish, such as mercury and lead. The amount of fish that you would need to consume daily to treat dry eye disease could pose a significant risk of mercury poisoning. The second thing you're looking for is the form of EPA and DHA that the product contains. Specifically, you're looking for the triglyceride form of EPA and DHA and not the ethyl ester form. Studies have shown that the triglyceride form of omega-3 oil can have up to 70% better absorption than the ethyl ester form. For example, in this type of fish oil supplement, you can easily get it from a big box store. The omega-3 fatty acids containing this product are in ethyl ester form, 
omega-3 fatty acids in natural unprocessed fish oil or in the triglyceride form in order to remove toxins such as mercury and lead from raw fish oil. It is often processed with ethyl alcohol, which converts omega-3 fatty acids into the ethyl ester form. But it needs to be converted back into the natural triglyceride form to improve the absorption in our body. So in summary, it is important to pick omega-3 oil supplements that contain adequate amounts of EPA and DHA that are in the triglyceride form. The third thing to look out for is the source of fish oil used in your omega-3 supplement. Both farm-raised and wild-caught fish can be used to make omega-3 fish oil. But oil from wild-caught fish typically contains a higher concentration of the desired omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA. Fish oils sourced from farm-raised fish are typically much cheaper. So why can't you just take more servings of the cheaper supplements to get the same amount of omega-3 fatty acids? Fish that are farm-raised and fed with grain typically contain a higher concentration of omega-6 and other fatty acids, which may be harmful or pro-inflammatory. Let's say supplement A contains 2,400 mg of fish oil, 600 mg of which are EPA and DHA. You will need to take almost three and a half servings of supplement A to get the recommended 2,000 mg of EPA and DHA along with 6,300 mg of less healthy and possibly harmful other oils and the calories from those oil. In addition, fish oil obtained from fish that are farm-raised and fed with grain may possibly contain pollutants and chemicals that may not be found in wild-caught fish. Not all manufacturers will specify the type of fish they use to source their fish oil on the package. So you may need to do a little bit of research on your own to find out the source of the fish used in a given product. So which three omega-3 oil supplements do I recommend for my patients? Number one, Nordic Natural Ultimate Omega Liquid Form. I recommend this product because each serving contains 1,460 mg of EPA, 1,010 mg of DHA. Both are in the triglyceride form. The fish source is wild-caught deep-sea fish from sustainable sources according to the company, and the toxin level in this product are significantly below the maximum allowance set by different regulatory agencies. I usually prefer liquid omega-3 oil supplements over capsules, because various materials can be used to manufacture the capsule or shell, and some can decrease the absorption of omega-3 fatty acids in our body such as methylacrylic acid copolymer. Number two, pure and dry omega benefits, liquid form. This is actually the supplement that I personally take. I would have listed this product number one if we went for the slight higher price with the pure and products. For a 10 ounce bottle, this one typically costs about $108 and the Nordic natural product costs about $72 for an eight ounce bottle. So it's about $1.80 per ounce difference. I really like the PRI and dry omega benefits because each serving contains 1,680 mg of its triglyceride form of EPA and 560 mg of its triglyceride form of DHA. Also, PRI has stated that they're committed to using sustainable sources for their fish oil and that they maintain strict testing criteria for purity and toxins. Number three. Pure and Omega V Benefits. This is one for my vegetarian and vegan viewers, or those with dietary restrictions. This is a vegan product that still contains high concentration of triglyceride forms of EPA and DHA. The source of omega-3 fatty acids in this product is algae, which is the main food source for many fish. Each serving contains 330 mg of EPA and 670 mg of DHA. There are limited choices in high quality omega-3 oil supplements for vegetarians and vegans or people who limit their consumptions of fish or fish products. And this supplement can provide them with a good amount of high quality omega-3 fatty acids. Oil from algae is thought to be significantly better than flaxseed oil as a source for omega-3 fatty acids. The main form of omega-3 fatty acids contained in flaxseed oil is ALA. As I mentioned before, conversion of ALA to the effective forms of omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, is less than 5 to 10% in our body. This makes flaxseed oil a much less effective source of omega-3 fatty acids. 
you can find links to all three of the omega-3 oil supplements I recommend for dry eyes in the description below. Please remember to always consult with your doctor before taking any high dose omega-3 oil supplements to make sure that they're safe and right for you. Let me know in the comments below if you're taking fish oil or omega-3 oil supplements now and which ones are you taking. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have learned anything new, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because if you click that subscribe button, you will help give me the opportunity to continue to bring free videos about eye health and eye surgery to the world. Anytime you don't have 10 minutes to watch videos, you can watch short fun videos about eye care tips on Instagram at Dr. Audrey Tai. You can also follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai to learn more about my practice. I look forward to connecting with you there. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.